All right, so here we have some beautiful local speckled trout, and we're going to show you how we clean one of these. It's a little simpler than a red snapper. We like to use our straight edge blade. Uh, no serrated blade is necessary. Um, and I'll sh everybody has their own way of doing this. And I'll show you all what works for me. Uh, first, I like to cut here close to the head, kind of score out the filet. And as you come down the top of the back, I like to cut, cut in because there's a lot of meat that goes way up toward that head. So the further you can cut down, the more meat you can save. Um, I like to start at the tail. Again, everybody has their own methods of doing this. But I start at the tail and start working down the backbone from there. And I don't have a quite a long enough knife that's flexible, so I'm going to just score the backbone out here. Now I've kind of opened that up, and so I can cut that meat off. So I've got this pretty well cut out here, but before I make the final cuts, I'm gonna flip it over and work on the other side. That way I don't lose uh, that even flat fish. So same thing, we're gonna cut right there close. And then when you get to the top of the head, go in as far as you can to get that meat way up in that head. Again, start at the back, work my way forward. And again, because my knife is a little shorter and less flexible than I would normally use, I'm gonna just score it down this backbone. And I do this red snapper the same way. So then I can come in there, get the most, most meat off of it. So then I'm gonna go ahead and finish this cut up top and just start to peel this back. There's your filet there. Now we can flip her over and do the same thing. Make our final cuts. So we've avoided all the rib cage. And we've got far up into the head of that fish. And there's our, no need to gut it. Now take our same knife. Hold on to the very end of our filet, make a cut down. You don't want to cut through the skin and just gently rock your knife back and forth while putting a little downward pressure on it. What I like to do is once I get it started a good bit, I like to grab this skin that I've cut loose and grab it and pull and just really hold my knife still and just kind of rock it and then pull that skin and rock that knife. There you go. And there's your filet. All right. Put her in some water. And we're done. There you go. And then we'll cut out. If there's any belly meat, if there's any bones, we'll just cut that out. And then we'll check for bones. I like to put it in some ice cold water, it tends to firm up the meat, as well as uh, get any blood out. 